Have you ever been slicing a model for 3D printing and wondered why there are so many different types of infill patterns in your slicing program? Today, we're gonna to discuss the most common types of infill patterns for 3D printing. I'm Brian DeLuca and this is Maker Build It. Today we're talking all about the most common types of infill patterns in 3D printing. When it comes to 3D printing, choosing the right infill pattern is crucial to determining the strength, weight, and durability of your prints. Some patterns focus on speed while other patterns focus on aesthetics or functionality. Here's a breakdown of the most commonly used infill patterns and when to use them. The grid pattern. The grid pattern is one of the most common infill patterns in 3D printing due to its simplicity and versatility. It creates a cross-hatch structure that provides constant strength in all direction. This pattern is a great choice for general purpose prints or for functionality where durability is important. Rectilinear. Rectilinear infill alternates straight lines in different layers, making it faster to print than grid while still maintaining a good strength. This pattern works well in everyday prints where speed is one of the things you're looking for and you're not really concerned about maximizing the strength. Gyroid. Gyroid is known for its unique continuous structure that offers an excellent strength to weight ratio. It's a favorite for lightweight structural prints or prints that need a little bit of flexibility. Its smooth curves distribute stress evenly across the part. Triangles or trihexagon. The triangular geometry of this pattern offers excellent rigidity, highly resistant to stress. Triangles are ideal for parts that need to withstand heavy loads or impact. Cubic. Cubic infill provides uniform support across all axes making it a well-balanced option for parts requiring consistent strength in multiple directions. It's the perfect choice for projects where stability and durability are important. Honeycomb or hexagonal. Honeycomb infill is both strong and lightweight due to its resemblance to a beehive. It's a great choice for lightweight parts that need to maintain their durability. Concentric. Concentric infill matches the shape of a model's curved surfaces, making it perfect for flexible parts. It's often used for products with unique shapes or if you're using a soft, pliable material. Now, there's also a whole bunch of other choices within your slicer, such as this octagonal spiral that really offer a beautiful infill design. And that's just one of the various infills you could probably choose from. But in a lot of slicers, there are a ton of infills, such as this octagonal spiral design that have a beautiful look to them. They're really aesthetically pleasing, but these are the most common infills that users are going to uh, use in their 3D prints. Each of these patterns has its strengths and ideal applications. For general purpose projects, grid and lefty linear are great choices. If you're looking for a lightweight, but a strong design, Gyroid or honeycomb are probably the way to go. For structural components, triangular or cubic are a great option. While concentric is perfect for flexible or curved designs, you should experiment with all these options to maximize your print strength and speed. What's your favorite infill? Leave it in the comments below. I hope you learned something new today, and if you did, it'd be great if you liked and subscribed. For more on 3D printing, DIY, or maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It, and remember, keep on making.